What is up toasters, my name is Toasty and today I'm going to be showing you how to install OBS to stream on any Windows desktop or Mac desktop. Um, so for what you're going to do to begin with is you're going to go to this website, uh, obsproject.com and select the version. I'm Windows 7 so I'm going to click this. If you're a Mac you're going to click this. If you're Linux you're going to click this link. So just going to click hit Windows 7. It's going to start downloading automatically. I already have it. Um, and when it's in your downloads, it's going to look like this. It's going to be this one right here. So just double click on this and it's going to take you through the installer. It's very self explanatory. You're just going to hit next. I agree. All that kind of stuff. You know how it works. Um, once that happens, you're going to be brought up with this. It's going to open up. If it doesn't open up, then you can just go to your uh, start menu and type in OBS to search the programs and it will come up. Um, so, you know, you just click on the start menu and type OBS and then it'll be right there. The OBS 6432 if you're on Windows depending on which one you started with and installed. So I'm on a 64-bit uh, system so that's the one you're going to click. So when it starts up you're going to hit optimize for streaming, recording is secondary or you can optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming. It just depends on what you like to be doing. I'm using stream. I'm using OBS for streaming. Some people just use OBS for recording their videos. Um, to record I just use Bandicam so I don't really need this. So optimize for streaming. Um, you're going to hit next and I'm going to use my display one. I have uh, two monitors, but this is my primary. And I like to go either 60 to 30, prefer 60 when possible. Some people can only do 30 or 60. Use current, which is my, I have mine set to 30. Um, either 60 or 30, prefer higher resolution. Um, I always want to have high FPS over resolution. So let's just click that. Uh huh. So let's go there. So now what you're gonna do is it's gonna say stream type streaming services. Um, don't do this custom streaming services. Streaming service service is gonna be Twitch. Um, and then for your stream key, all you're gonna do is click this, and it'll automatically default you to this. You're gonna hit show your key. Um, I'm gonna black this out. So you never want to share your stream key with anybody. So this is going to be my stream key. I'm just going to black this out. So just like right click, copy, and then paste it in here. Um, and then you it'll have a region. I'm going to hit United States because that is my region. Um, so then just hit next. So it's going to do a bandwidth test. And it might take some time. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. In the meantime, I'm gonna get this next part of the tutorial set up. All right, I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll come back when it's ready. All right, after that's done, it's gonna say testing service Twitch. Um, the server's gonna be San Francisco. All this stuff depends on your internet. Um, so I'm just gonna hit apply those settings and there you go, you're gonna be brought to the screen and now I'm gonna show you what a, the good way to mix your uh, your recordings on. All right, guys, thank you so much for waiting. Uh, there's a quick transition. Now I'm going to show you how to like set up your OBS like ideally for your Twitch streaming and all that good stuff. So first thing I do is you start with one scene. So um, I like to rename it. I call this gaming set. Uh, I call this gaming stream. Um, let's see, gaming, gaming windowed. I'd say windowed stream, and then I would make another one, and I would call it um, camera stream. So basically the gist of this is gaming window stream is going to have like your camera small in the corner or wherever you have it positioned and then game camera stream would be when you double click on that one it would have just like your camera in the front taking up the whole page. Um, and then you can add other ones like you want to have like a bigger donations tab or you want to like have one to hide the donations tab like you can do all kinds of stuff so we're only going to do two today so I'm going to start with the gaming window stream so then what the first thing you're going to want to do is add a image um, and to create a new image I'm going to call this streaming overlay overlay 
all right and click that create new and it's gonna ask you to browse and I'm gonna find my uh, stream overlay that I use which is gonna be through your uh, it's gonna be my desktop um, YouTube shiz and streaming so this is my stream overlay right here it looks like this toast games and it's toast Place games top donor blah blah, blah. So I'm going to click OK. So that's going to pop up just like this. So I'm going to bring this down to make it so it fits my monitor. Just like that. Perfect. Looks good. And next thing I'm going to do is add my camera. So I'm going to add that. So it's, oh, sorry. It's not camera. It's going to be a video capture device. Um, create new. I'm just going to call it... Um, uh, I'm gonna call it corner camera you don't have to name it the same thing but I can't show you what I'm doing now because it's gonna be through um, it's gonna not work since I'm recording the video with my uh, bandy cam so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the video off for this for just for now and then I'll come back when uh, it is loaded up on this screen so just give me two seconds please all right, so now we're back. Uh, I'm gonna just hit configure my recording. Um, follow my face is not like a necessary thing. This is just for if you have a Logitech camera, so I don't really need to do anything like that. Uh, blah, 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 resolution, color, auto detect. Let's just hit default for that one. So there's my camera right here. Um, everything looks good, everything's working, so I'm just gonna click this, and now I'm gonna probably, make this a lot smaller stick that about right there right there just like that that looks good I'm gonna pull it over just a little bit more and have this coming up behind it so it'll hide if you have this um, there it's gonna you know it's gonna have a little like marginal thing right there so you wanna put the stream overlay at the top hide the camera behind it so it looks nice and clean just like that and now I have another thing that I like to do which is put like a little um, it's I put it like a cam I call it camera border um, and it's just like what I you don't have to have something like this I have I have this um, it just basically it looks like this and it's a camera laser banner thing it looks just like this and I have that set to about right there make it a little smaller and then that just kinda sits just like that perfect make it a little smaller 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 and yeah it just kinda like you know gives it a nice like feel right there um, sometimes I like to have this actually a little bigger kinda like go out a little bit oh sorry let me move that back up depends really just what I'm kinda like what I'm looking for um, honestly for now I think I'm just gonna have this to be just Finishing where that light leaves off just like that, you know, just gives it a nice a nice feel um, So then for the next thing I would do is I would have my um, Basically my My recording screen so to do that you're just gonna hit uh, you can have game capture um, If you want to like record like a game so for that you would just choose um like a specific window and then you would choose like the window you would want like if you're if you have a game right now but for now I'm just gonna have I'm gonna get rid of that um, I'm just gonna put a display capture which will just basically capture a part of my screen I'm gonna call this screen capture oh, screen capture sorry it's gonna put game something Okay, so it's gonna come up like a pretty much like this. I'm gonna use the display one, which is the primary. Oh, display zero, the primary monitor. So that's this, and um, capture cursor that that can uh, be turned on and turned off. I normally have it off, but uh, but in the game sometimes you'll like to have your cursor. But I'm gonna keep it on for now, um, and just put it just basically just like that. Move this over. So if you have your, oh, I have two monitors, so I can move this over. You won't see, you'll just see my screen like this. But um, yeah, so now it's gonna be recording my game stuff and all that. More. Uh, you would need a, um, let's 
see my streaming. You get you get like a black bar, something like this. I like to use this this black bar or carbon fiber. Um, black bars, whatever one really works for you. I'm gonna choose to use this one. So it's basically it looks like this. It looks just like this. So um, to get rid of to do that, you're gonna add another image. I'm gonna call it black bar top. Browse your image that you want. There it is. Click that. So you're gonna get this, and I just like to shove this right there, just like that. Cut it off nicely, and I'm going to do this, and then you can just hit duplicate. I'm pretty sure there's a duplicate one. Uh, copy. Here it is. Copy, and then you can paste it. Pretty sure you can. Paste filters. There you go. Well, maybe you can't. Oh, here it is. Copy and paste duplicate. There we go. And then hit rename. I'm going to call this black bar bottom. Haha. <laughs> bottom. Bottom. <laughs> Hilarious. And drag that down to the bottom. And it'll automatically like snap to grid and everything. So you don't have to worry, worry about that at all. Um, so there we go. I'm going to drag that away. Uh, so you don't get this horrible like overlay. So there you go. That's how basically you do that. That's going to be like your main uh, streaming setup for that. If you look, you see how it did that? I, I click this and it kind of watch this. So if it's like this and then it fades out like that. That's because you can have transitions. So you can have a cut transition where it'll just snap between the two. I like to use the fade because um, it's like very nice for transitions so now I'm going to show you how to set up like the second one that I like to use so first of all I like to do this I just copy the stream overlay just hit copy that put that right off the bat oh I copy the stream overlay bottom bar and the top bar I copy all of these go to the uh, same thing so I make sure all of them are exactly the same as how they were um, when it's when it starts basically so you don't have like jump cuts and it glitches when you move it you want everything to be exactly the same in the same place so I'm gonna just make sure you're hitting duplicate too. don't hit reference because if you change one then it changes both of them so just hit just do as a duplicate just to save time in case you do need to change just one of them um, streaming OLA copy that and you paste it paste a duplicate okay so we have this the basic setup just like that and now all you're gonna need to do now is a video capture device. Okay. And click the wait for the Logitech to pop up. Oh, color spectrum, default, all that stuff is fine. Just hit okay. And my Logitech should pop up. Should be popping up in a second. Who knows? I don't know why it isn't. Oh shoot. Okay, make sure. So you want to have a clear, clean transition just between the two of those. Um, I don't know why the video capture device isn't working. No, we, yeah, we can add. Actually, we can add the corner camera. Yeah, we can do that. And then what we're gonna do is just put it right. Oh, gotta get it right. Perfect. There we go. And move it. Move it across. Kind of just like that and then you can hold the shift key and drag it this way and then hold the other shift key and drag it just like that and it will make this and then you just drag it underneath the steam overlay so it doesn't get in the way at all I'm just gonna check to oh Jesus what have I what have I done um, let's move this down there we go and move this across there we go so that's how you do that it will make your face a little stretched out but it's not too much of a problem so now if I go to this it'll switch to this mode it'll switch to the like I said it'll switch to this mode and then if you click this it'll switch back to the window mode so there are a couple things I can show you also um, you can hit the studio mode so you can see um, if you want this one to show this screen and this one to show the small camera you can so you can see both at the same time um, I never really use this I just stick with like the stream mode uh, this is the normal mode and then all you're gonna do after that is just hit start record uh, start streaming and it'll automatically like broadcast itself So that's pretty much it. 
Um, yeah, pretty much covered all of that. Um, it says where your mic aux is. That's where your that's my microphone. That's the microphone that's sitting in front of me. And um, the corner camera, my Logitech camera does pick up sound. I always mute that because I don't want my camera picking up sound and my microphone. So I just do one or the other. I always just use my nice studio microphone that I have. It's better sound quality anyway. So um, that's pretty much all you have to do for that. Um, after you hit start stream, I recommend all, all you have to do really is just open up like your iDevice, or like your iPhone, or you can have like a tablet or anything that you can like watch a stream on and just start streaming for like 30 seconds and test the game sounds and test your microphone versus like the volume levels of the game or whatever you're doing just to make sure it sounds okay. Um, you don't wanna like test your stream on your computer because it's gonna have like, it's gonna record your desktop sounds and it's gonna record your sound so it's gonna have like a loop like an audio loop you always want to make sure that you have it on another device with headphones so you're not getting any conflicting noises from picking up on your microphone from your stream with any other like noise that's going on like uh, from like an iPhone or a tablet or anything like that you want to make sure that you have like a quiet setting so you don't have like echoes or anything like that um, perfect. Okay, so yeah, that's basically the end of that video. Um, I hope you, you know, now you know how to do it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, just go ahead and share this video. Facebook, Instagram, Pornhub, all those great things. I would love to see my video hit the top charts on the trending list on Pornhub.com. Uh, that would really, like, that would make my life so special. Um, it would just really make my day. And I couldn't, I can't do it without you. So just go ahead and drop this video a like. Give it a share. Show it some love. Show it to your friends who are struggling with this and they need to know how to stream too. Don't be afraid to fucking send this video to them. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Peace off. Yeah.